Russia and the United Arab Emirates agreed upon legalizing more than 10,000 Ethiopians who've been living there without living permits. This came while UAE officials and Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed held talks during the letter visit to the UAE. The Premier completed his visit yesterday and bring back with him 135 Ethiopians who were living there illegally. The Premier was able to strike deals with officials of the UAE regarding the rights and protections of Ethiopians living there. Welcome back to Addis Newsar. Around 1,200 Ethiopians are scheduled to return to their motherland as a thorough discussion between the Ethiopian Embassy in Djibouti and the International Migration Organization. The Ethiopian migrants have been sheltered in Al Adi refugee camp for the last 20 to 30 years. Ambassador of Ethiopia to Djibouti, Abdulaziz Mohammed, indicated some have seen their third generation in the refugee camp. Some of them have fled their country due to political reasons, and others are economic migrants motivated by the brokers. The discussion made with them is said successful to make the necessary preparations for their safe return. <laughs> Those refugees have stayed here for long. We have made continuous discussions with them for their return to Ethiopia. They have the awareness about what's going on in Ethiopia and they have become hopeful. They are closely following it and now they are willing to return home. We are doing the whole process with the International Organization for Migration. The ambassador further indicated lots of awareness-raising activities should be done in the country to avoid unnecessary risks the Ethiopian citizens are taking. 